All right, what's going on World GTP here? Welcome to Project 48. But first, let's go walk the dog. So Project 48, first of all, welcome you guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, which you probably are, welcome. My name is Arnold, but you can call me GTP, which is short for the grind to par. But GTP is a little bit easier to say. So the grind to par is kind of like my way of life right now. I've been super addicted to golf ever since I picked it up in 2020. Probably took it seriously about 2021 or heading into 2021. Uh, hold that thought. Poopy time. And we're back. All right, so the Grand Tapar, I'm gonna put my Instagram handle somewhere above here. Uh, the Grand Tapar is pretty much the way of life that I've had the past few years, ever since I picked up golf, ever since I've gotten addicted to golf. Um, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. It really embodies to me uh, personally that getting good at golf is a grind and that you have to grind as much as you can every single day if you can't get 1% better every single day uh, to get good at golf. Come on, let's go this way, come on. Yeah, so anyways, that's me, GTP. Yep, more on that later. Project 48. It's January 31st right now, and at this point, there's 48 weeks left in the year. And so, to me, this is kind of like my, the start of my New Year's resolution. You no, know, kind of late, because uh, all of January was kind of a lull for me. Um, yeah, we got down with the 2019 sickness. Um, my car right now is out of commission, so I really haven't been able to leave the house. I did just get this guy, Archie. Um, so I, at least it's allowed me to stay home with him for him to kind of get accustomed to us in the, in the house and all that. And so, yeah, so, you know, and also with the weather kind of being iffy, we really, I really was not able to go golf for practice or the range or anything like that. But here we are. If I was to start this January 1st, it would have been Project 52, 52 weeks in the year. Yeah, but since we're starting in February, 48 weeks. So yeah, we got 48 weeks left in the year starting tomorrow. And for me, I'm going to use those 48 weeks to do two things. Two. Dog, dog bed. Test, test, test. All right. All right. Now we're back home. All right. So we are back home uh, from that walk. It took a little bit longer than we needed to. Anyways, okay, so Project 48 is going to be two things for me. I'm going to start off at number two. Uh, it, number two is YouTube. I've always had this, I've always wanted to get into the YouTube space and I've done it in the past. I've, I gave it a fair shot a couple times in the past. When I got into golf, golf was really, golf was really the tipping point in me, want, in, in me getting into the social media space and getting into the, so, in, into the so, you know, content creating uh, journey. And so that's how, why I started, not really why, but, but that's what kind of, that's what gave me the invisible hand push to start the grind to par on Instagram. And that was just me wanting to share my journey, wanting to share my progress with golf. And it's been three years and it's been pretty fun. I've had some amazing opportunities, met a lot of cool people. It, it, it's just been a fun, um, it's been a very fun ride ever since. And so, you know, during that entire time, I was trying to start YouTube. I, I really wanted to jump into the golf space for YouTube. Yeah, so I gave it a fair shot. When I got my first 1,000 uh, followers on Instagram, I promised to myself that I would make I would start dabbling into making YouTube golf content. So I, I would record on the course, little course vlogs and stuff, um, but that never really amounted to anything. It was just, it, it really became more of a pressure, you know, unnecessary pressure that I had on the course to record. Um, it became more of a, a distraction on the course for me. And so that really kind of tanked my game. I'm going to blame it on that. So that kind of fell by the wayside. Then in 2023, I ended up buying this camera. I ended up buying this camera in hopes to start golf or in order to re, you know, reignite that fire of wanting to do YouTube golf content. I'm not going to, I'm not going to unlist or make those videos private or take those videos down. But I did, I did two videos last year and that was kind of the, the start of it. But you know, you kind of make plans for life, but life has plans for you. And so, um, you know, 2023 probably wasn't the best year of, wasn't the best year for, you know, for my girlfriend Alexa and I. We'll get into that probably like in a different video, but 2023 kind of put a halt to a lot of things, um, golf included and, you know, YouTube in included. Uh, and so, 
you know, that was kind of a tough, tough year for us, but we ended 2023 off on a high note. Um, and so that brings us to here, sitting in, sitting in our living room. And now I feel like I have another opportunity to finally jump into it and give it full bore. The past couple of weeks, I really, really thought to myself, I want to do this. I need to do this just for myself, um, selfishly for myself. And, you know, just to give myself, I'm going to give myself one year, 48 weeks. The goal is to put one video out a week for the entire year. So I, it, at the end of the year, it should be about 48 videos at the very minimum. And so that's, um, that is project 48 goal number two for me. I log into work. I should make my coffee and set up the net in the garage. So let's go do that. All right, but first let's get a putt. Go in here. This is about four feet from the hole. Go through my pre-shot routine. First putt of the day, folks. Let's make some coffee. For anyone that grinds their coffee with this specific grinder, the Barata Encore, here's a tip. If you don't want all this coffee like dust like spraying out, I mean, I have a little bit there, but if you don't want all that coffee dust spraying out, uh, just spray some water or take a few drops of water and put it on your coffee beans. And it's because of science. I can't, I don't know why but it um, prevents a lot of the static buildup in the grinder, so no coffee dust. All right, while the water's still heating up, let's go to the garage and set up my golf net. All right, so a resolution that I have you know, for the year is, so my girlfriend, um, she goes to the, to the office a few days a week and I'm work from home, at least for now, full time. So one of my goals is I, I wanna set up the golf net in the garage every time the garage is open when she's not in here. Um, I wanna do that in the morning before I log into work, right before or after making coffee. And um, yeah, so that way I have the net set up. I can take a few swings before logging into work and, and the net's already up throughout the day. And then I can take it, you know, so I can take swings throughout the day during lunch, during breaks or whatever, and then you know, take it down before she comes back home. So let's go set this up. Okay, so got the net set up, got my range mat set up, and so this is my practice, this is my practice area. Forgot to get a wedge. Okay, I'm a doofus, they're in my golf bag. So this is pretty much what I wanna do in the morning is have this set up already and then take a few swings, like a few morning swings. When I first, when I first had my first net ever, my first range mat ever. One of the things that I like to do is go out for morning, you know, after I log into work or before I log into work, get out and do a few chips. Just to, I think to me, chipping is one of the more important things of the game. And if you, if you have that on lock, you're gonna allow yourself a better chance to succeed. So let's see if we can get one going here. Just a standard chip. That one's fat. Let's, uh, let's try that again. That's gonna be enough for now. All right, back to the coffee. For uh, this is cool. All right, so number one for Project 48 is to actually take the steps I need to take to actually get good at golf. Ooh, let's turn this on. Oh, check that out. Okay, coffee made. Cheers. Like I said, 
the past three years of golf, um, it's been it's been a crazy journey. It's definitely been a learning curve. It's been a learning experience. As frustrating as frustrating as it is, I'm here for it. So I picked up golf about 20 September 2020. Went out with my my brothers and my cousins. Got me to go out with them, and I just got hooked after that point. And it's just been, yeah, I've just been a like I said earlier, addicted to it ever since. And I started going to the range, blah, blah, blah. But I'd be like the normal hack. I'd get like a large bucket and I'd blow through it in like 20 minutes. And so about 2021 was when I realized it's more, getting good at golf is just more than just going to the range and looking for that one perfect shot to walk away feeling happy from, right? And so I uh, decided to take learning the golf swing more seriously. I'm pretty much a self-taught kind of person. Like I just teach myself things. So YouTube, um, as you guys know, is full of content it's full of golf content and there's a lot of golf coaches who post good good instructional stuff on there it's just like i said there's a lot there's a lot of it and you can drown in it but luckily i you know i feel like for me i'm able to like kind of sift out i'm able to filter and take what i need for me and able to kind of just learn from the videos and watch the videos that i feel like i need for me you know i'm not just watching any old tip video and you know think oh i need to do that um, so that was pretty much all of 2021 and progress. I started seeing progress, honestly. Um, and the goal there was to break a hundred and in January of 2022, I actually broke a hundred. Um, and it was probably one of the coolest feelings, um, in golf. It's, that was a pretty big milestone that did feel pretty dang good. Um, and so 2022, I had high hopes. And so I took less, I think I took two lessons that year uh, from two from two different pros at Hagen Oaks, a golf course in Sacramento. And I would say that that really helped improve my swing. I, I did feel like I was gonna make a lot of progress, but as you know, golf is, golf is ebbs and flows. You feel good, you feel bad, you feel good, you feel bad. You know, you have your good days, you have your bad days. And then, yeah, so. End of 2022, swing went back to feeling like crap. Game went back to feeling like crap. And then so in January of 2023, that's when I kind of decided to buckle down. I'm not going to record on the course anymore. I, I'm just giving myself a pressure that I don't need on the course because when I record on the course for content, I want to make sure that, oh, I got to I gotta hit a good shot. I, I got to do something cool. You know, I got to hit a bomb drive, a flushed iron. I, I got to hit like a good putt. I got to make this in one putt. And that was just pressure on me that I didn't need because if I didn't hit those things, I didn't have anything to post and then I'd feel kind of bummed about it. On top of that, there was like the pressure of like, you know, thinking that I'm holding people up, you know, the groups behind me up. And really, in reality, it doesn't. If you record on the course, you understand. You plop your tripod down or whatever, whatever you use, you plop it down, hit record, hit your shot, pick it up, you're done in like a minute. And so, yeah, so 2023, I decided no more recording on the course. Uh, you know, I'm just going to focus on practicing. And when I go play, I'm going to play. I just want to focus on playing. So that was that felt pretty good for most of the year. And then, like I said earlier, life just kind of happened um, and everything kind of took a back seat. And so that was probably from about April, <sighs> August, April to about August was you know, everything kind of just started to change in life. And um, yeah, and, and then so once things kind of started to, you know, climb up, um, golf kind of started to climb up again, but I just didn't have the sw the confidence swing that I had in the first part of the year. I, you know, the rust kind of built up and I just couldn't get it back. And um, so now that's where we are at this point. Uh, goal number one for this Project 48 is to finally get good at golf. I feel like I'm at a point where, okay, I've built like a good swing, pretty much self-taught on my own, but now it's time to get a professional set of eyes. It's time to do drills that they deem necessary for me to do and actually do it. And so I reached out to a, a golf pro at a course nearby here. And so he's down. Um, so we're, I'm going to set that up pretty soon. He said he's down to be on camera. So when I film that, I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm going to, whatever drills he gives me, this is the whole, this is the whole thing about Grind to Par Project 48 is whatever drills he gives me, I'm going to stick true to doing them every single day. You know, every day that I can, every day that I have time to do it, I'm going to do it. And so, um, that's going to be that's going to be the focus of the year as far as golf goes is take the necessary steps work with a golf pro work on my swing work on my game and so hopefully at the end of the year i have a much better swing at the end of the year than i do now a much better game then than i do now and so um yeah that's gonna be a big task for me is um however my swing is now i want it to be 10 times better 100 times better by the end of the year 
and I know I want the scores, I want the game to reflect that. I'm gonna talk about the next thing about Project 48. It's not really an item number three, it's just kind of a mesh of one and two, but be right back. All right, so um, meeting's over, waiting for a few reports to run, and that takes a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna take a little work break to get on some putting practice. Cool. And uh, to talk to you guys about, um, and yeah, to kind of like talk to you guys about meshing numbers one and two together. The entire plan that I have for Project 48 and actually for my channel going forward is just the style of videos that I'm going to be making. Um, ever since I've been into YouTube back in like 2012, actually even goes back to when I was younger, in my younger days of skateboarding. Uh, skateboarding, there were these videos that you, these skate videos, you could buy these little VHS tapes. One of them was called 411, 411 VM. VM stood for Video Magazine. And then there's, um, there was like, there would be segments where they would do Day in the Lives where they would just, you know, follow a skater around their you know just a normal day what's a normal day for them and so that i really liked that format that aspect i like seeing the be you know just the day in the life of people when i started to get into watching a lot of youtube the format that i really liked were vlogs were like daily vlogs so like ben brown there's casey neistat of course and then you know the skateboarding side there was like john hill and then there was you know like andy schrock and all them i knew that if i wanted to get into youtube i'd like to do like a vlog style format Dr. Disrespect, see, I'm telling you, watching YouTube. And TV's on the floor because um, electrician hasn't come in yet. You know, we got we had this whole new house. This wall was remodeled. And um, the electrician just has to come in to do some of the outlet stuff and whatever. So this should be up hopefully by this weekend. If not, next week I'll put it up. Anyways, so I knew that if I wanted to get into YouTube, I wanted to do vlogging, like a vlog style format. And so with this channel going forward, it's gonna be a lot of vlogs. It's gonna be just a lot, a lot of raw talking, me and you. Every video is gonna show something that I'm working on. It's, yeah, it's gonna be something that I'm working on um, just to get 1% better every single day. We're always gonna go back to that mantra. It's gonna be weekly vlogs. So I'm gonna post a video a week, like I said, and I'm gonna just show what I'm doing throughout the week as far as getting better with golf. Um, and you may be other stuff too, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But for now, it's going to be just what I'm doing every day as far as golf goes. So for example, like the putting mat, the putting mat that I have that I'm on right now, just using these things every single day, just doing these things. Even if like I'm sitting down with my girlfriend watching TV, if I have a club in my hand, just like working on my grip or whatever, um, that's going to be something I'm going to want to show because I want to show that if you want to get good at golf, if you if you really want to if you really really want to get good at golf, you have to put in the work, and so um, that's what I'm going to share with these weekly vlogs. I'm just going to show everything that I'm doing um, as far as like just stuff at home, like putting or hitting at my net, or when I do finally take the lesson, record that I'm going to share all of that. And if I do continue to work with that coach or with any other coach, I'm going to do my best to record, share that with you guys, and then the drills that they give me to get better with. I'm going to share, I'm going to record myself doing those drills just to show that, um, you know, when you get these drills, especially if they're new movements for you, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be weird. It's going to be bad shots all around. But if you just keep doing it, I firmly, I firmly believe that if you just keep sticking to those drills, um, again, with intent and purpose, it'll make things so much better. So that's just what I want to share. It's just going to be weekly vlogs again of getting better at golf through drills, home practice, uh, lessons, you know, we're going to have range sessions. Um, and I may, I may post, I may post a course vlog here and there, but that's not really going to be the goal. I feel like with YouTube golf, um, it's all just, I want to say like maybe like 90% of it is just people playing on the course. Um, that's like the, that's like the light side. That's like the bright side of golf. It's just being on the course, seeing people hit drives, flush irons and, you know, big putts. But I want to kind of show like the dark side of golf, which is practice. And nobody really wants to see the practice side of golf. But I want to share that because anything that might help me may help you. And I'll, you know, I'm not here to teach, but I'm just here to share with what I'm being taught in hopes that it may help you. And if it does great, if it doesn't, cool. That's just what I want to do with this channel is just share myself getting better at golf. And if it helps you out, great. If not, that's all good too. But um, yeah. I probably should get off my knee now because it hurts. All right. Woo. Hello. Yeah, so now it's about, I'll show you on my Garmin here. I don't know if you can see. 12.45. Last clip was, I was also kneeling down like this. 
Last clip was about like nine ish, nine ten thirty years. Anyways, got locked into some work. Um, yeah, so it's about like lunchtime break now. So what I'm gonna do since it's raining is I'm just gonna go to the garage and swing a little bit and talk to you guys a little bit more about this whole Project Forty Eight. All right, yep. Whenever I swing, I always put on my golf shoes. Okay, so one of the things that I do is um, I have this rope. And I use this as my warm-up tool, and uh, but also it also so uh, train my tempo a little bit better. The way you trample for this, uh, train for tempo for this, with this is you swing it up and you let it hit your back, and then that's when that's your cue to go ahead and swing through. Get this going here, so hit it. Pretty cool. Best part about it is it gets me warmed up to swing. So now if I was to grab a club and swing with it, it would feel pretty whippy. Yeah, everything feels kind of like light, but it's just the feeling of it. It's just the fluidity of it. See if that, that felt really good. That was a pretty good swing, but to Project 48. Those swings felt really good. See if we can get one swing here before he comes back out. So this is what I do. I always um, record every time I'm swinging. I always record, and then I always review. Record and review. That's all I do. If it's a good one, if it's a bad one, record, review, redo, or record, review, replicate. So yeah. So like I mentioned earlier. Um, I want to share, now we're going to talk about Project 48 and how it all just comes together. So like I said earlier, um, I want to share just the process of getting better with golf, the practice side of golf. Um, I don't think there's this side of YouTube golf yet that's really been explored or really been shared. And I think, um, I'm pretty sure there's a ton of other golfers out there, but a majority of YouTube golf that we see is just course vlogs or um, the thing that I want to share with the vision that I have with my channel is to share the side of golf that you know where you get from point a to point good good like to where you're gonna get good and i'm not saying that i'm gonna be like freaking scratch or hitting 300 yard bomb drives like all the time like those guys do with relative ease right you know i firmly believe that if i keep this up um and i share this you know i hope that it'll inspire everyone to just understand that you gotta practice you gotta put in the work to get good at golf so so yeah um i'm just gonna go ahead and swing um, for the rest of this lunchtime, it's, it's the 31st, it's Wednesday, so tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to post anything tomorrow, we do, like I said, we you know we have the electrician coming to fix that wall, so we, yeah, so if I, you know, like I said, if I, if I do any type of practice tomorrow, I'll show you guys, uh, I'll probably do a lot of putting tomorrow, uh, Friday will probably be a lot of putting, but, yeah, so, but I'm just going to work on this, let me, get, let me get a good chip for you guys here. The thing that I realized, um, this used to be my bread and butter. This used to be what saves me. Since I haven't really been able to practice, I'm not rotating my chest. And I'm not, I'm getting stuck on my trail side. So I'm hitting way behind. But the move that I'm trying to make sure I do is straight back, but get the weight forward or pressure shift there. And then just like that. And get the chest moving. Chest moving is important here. I'm gonna practice more of that, just more chipping. Hopefully, get some swings in if he'll let me, and um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. guys it's officially February 1st yeah so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any practice done today because um, you know we have the electrician coming at least I think she's coming she didn't um, hit me up she didn't hit me up or anything yesterday when I texted her back so we'll see what happens but um, but yeah so one of the things that I'm gonna start trying to do um, is since we do have this dog now and I do got to take him out for his morning little potty walk I'm gonna um gonna help I feel like um improve the golf game also is listening to these podcasts um these golf podcasts that are all about improving your game uh 
and so especially mentally because a big struggle for me is the mental side of the game uh, and so i've been listening to these guys the sweet spot um adam young and john sherman and uh, they've really been super insightful and they have super insightful guests, uh, some tour pros and stuff. Um, and they, they, talk, they talk about like, you know, how they practice. Like the one that I'm listening to right now is about using, um, you know, using breathing, breathing as a technique to kind of uh, calm down your anxieties on the course. Practicing better, uh, having a better mental game and all that. So I'm, uh, so that's one thing that I'm going to do every day when I got to take him out. These walks to kind of help improve my game. And so, we'll, you know, I, so far, you guys got to check him out, the sweet spot, Adam Young, John Sherman. So, yep, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to get done today. Um, if anything, I'll pop in. If anything, I'll pop in when I'm doing, like, just some grip work or, you know, while I'm working and whatnot. But, um, yeah, all right, got to finish the walk with this guy. Well, so I texted the, I texted the electrician last night just to see what time to expect her. You can see here, she reached out to us and said she could come February 1st. I said, cool, let's lock that in. Boom, 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 got you on the 1st. And then she says, somehow I have you on for Friday, not tomorrow. I think that's all on me. It is what it is. It is what it is. The good thing about that is, I already logged into work, did some, did some work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I'll go set up the net. Anyways, let's set this up. Ooh, I like this lighting guys. So um, Been a few hours since the little chipping practice that I just had I'm about to go out for just a little break I'm gonna do two things. Um, I'm gonna go back outside and do some chipping practice um, And then I'm gonna try and take my thumbnail picture right um, so I think part of this whole project 48 thing is not just like posting on YouTube although that as far as goal number two goes of posting a video every single week, it's just, it's also improving my YouTube skills, you know. Um, it's not just posting videos or whatever, but it's actually, you know, making good content. I'm going to try and do like a little clip for, that I can take a screen cap of to uh, make the thumbnail out of. Got you guys on my Joby tripod here. See that? Now you guys are, now you guys are on there. Whoop. Okay, I'm going to hold the tripod here and some golf clubs hold it here hold you guys there okay cool hopefully that works yeah let's go swing a little bit i just need a little stress reliever so the thing that i kind of wanted to work on while i'm out here aside from chipping is the part of my game that really saves me or that was saving me was my short game so like my hundred my hundred yards in game wedge game I never full swing my wedges it's always it's only partial swings so i just want to do some uh some hip to hip. Got my lob wedge in hand. So something like that. Let's just do another one. So with my lob wedge, I would expect this to go about like, tw I think it's usually around like 30, 35 yards rolled out. It would fly maybe like 25 and then roll out another five yards. Archie, watch out. Okay, I got behind that one. That's what I'm talking about. Rotate with the left armpit, hit with the right armpit. Now that was perfect. That one felt good. All right, I want to get my hands up a little higher, actually. But I need to go from here to here, hip to hip. Hip to hip. Actually, that's pretty good. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so camera actually died there. Luckily, I still got the shot, but I'm back inside now, and I'm going to get back to some more work. But yeah, so that was, I uh, got in a little chipping practice there and a um, little hip-to-hip -hip practice. I might get a little brave later and try and do some rib-to-rib. -rib. It's pretty much the same motion because rib-to-rib I do is right here, here. Rib-to-rib -rib is up to my ribs up to my ribs so I gotta do a whole wedge thing of that but if you guys want to if you guys want to learn a good wedge technique that works with wedge swings and chipping look up Jason Day um, dead hands wedge or something like that Jason Day dead hands that should come up so if you I'll do a whole thing on wedge distances and stuff that, w that will work for me you know I would share with you guys but we get back to some work and some blah, blah, blah and then hopefully we get to some full swings later all right Alrighty, tidy. It's about a, almost a four o'clock. Been grinding away at some work. So I'm gonna take a little break, gonna take my afternoon break, gonna try and get some swings in because I wanna I wanna do some full swing action. Honestly, right now at this point, just wanna make sure I get some swings in, you know, kinda keep the feel locked in. So I got my six iron here. When I practice my irons, um, I'm really comfortable with my short irons. I'm comfortable with my pitching wedge, my nine eight, like I can pull that out and, pre you know, honestly and honestly, feel pretty um, confident when I'm gonna swing those. It's when I get to the seven irons, kind of iffy, and then my six and five iron, I'm really just like, we'll see what happens, type of swing, you know. Board is when I practice. It's either gonna be with a seven or a six only. You know, like in here, but at the range, you know, I'll swing. I like to swing all my clubs. Uh, I got my six iron here. I'm going to do some rope swings. I don't know how long this video is going to be. This one's going to probably going to be the longest one just because it's like I'm getting in the groove of it. But um, over time, as the videos go on, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be more, um, I'll be able to kind of trim the fat a little bit just because I'll know what I want to show, what I want to talk about and all that. But for now, since we're just kind of getting to know each other. See if that one's okay. Alright, let's get another one. That one felt like toe. Kinda want one more. I'm gonna do this real quick. This from the dollar store. This is a good just to see where your impact is. See that? That one was off the toe. That's toey. Too. That one felt absolute money. Everything else was here. That one was right here. Oh, buddy. That's a good one to end it on, at least for now. Uh, I'm going to finish up work. Should be off in a little bit, half an hour, and then maybe hopefully I can get out for some more swings before Alexa gets back home. So, end of the work day. And I'm going to go ahead and put this net away. I did take a couple swings, um, I didn't record it. On the camera i did have it on my phone so i'll but pretty much the feel that i was i'm trying to get i was taking some practice swings and i remembered a feel of having the trail elbow coming through and so i was doing that and um it was feeling it was feeling really good yep i'm gonna get to putting this away alexa's actually calling me so brb all right what's going on guys it's um it's about eight o'clock about 8 30 this uh friday night today was kind of like a busy day still work um as you can see this wall looks a little different um but today we had an electrician come by and finally put up these lights in the shelving here and then uh this little fireplace here so that's pretty cool and now the tv is on the floor still and this weekend i'm gonna buy a mount and mount the tv up there so i'm gonna have all this space for putting now like right here in front of the tv but 
Yeah, so Alexa's actually out with her friends right now. I didn't really get to swing at all today, but um, since I do have the house to myself, I'm just gonna do some putting. Um, I didn't get a chance to do that today, and I didn't do much of it yesterday, I don't think. But um, I got a round tomorrow. It's my cousin Marco's birthday round. We're gonna be playing at a course nearby, Cherry Island. So we'll see how that goes, but I need to make sure my putting is at least feeling somewhat decent. So I'm just gonna see if I can tidy up some things, keep some fields on lock, and we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna start off at three feet, actually. So the thing that I wanna just make sure is I got my uh, pre-shot routine right, and I have my stroke right. Okay, that one felt... That felt okay for the first putt in like two days. And one thing that I really want to work on as far as like my putting stroke is using my shoulders, using my shoulders to rotate. That one I use my shoulders to rotate, like to rock. So like if I'm putting, I'll just hold the putter like this. And I'm just using my shoulders. I find that um, like when I get tense, I use my arms and then my left arm will get kind of stiff and stuck. So I end up like throwing the right hand you know, so I'm closing the club face and I'm just pushing it or I'm pulling the putts left. But I find that if I can if I can just rock with my shoulders, it's more of a natural putting stroke. Shoulders. It's right down the middle. Um, so I'm going to just do a few of these. And then one thing that I'm, I'm going to show you guys is that I'm, let me just do this putt real quick. Just rock the shoulders. I want to work that I've you know that I've kind of been working on as far as my putts goes is um, like tempo and using like an 80 beats per minute tempo. So what I've been doing is I've I've tried faster, I've tried slower, but 80 beats for me just feels more natural. And it doesn't feel like fast or or too slow. So with this is on beat. So on one beat, I'll start the takeaway. But then on the beat right after is when the hit is when you is when I want to hit the ball. So I'll just do this on this short put right here. Pretty good, right? Let's do that again. But this time I'm, my focus is going to be to land in that zone there. I'll do I want to do a video on this putting mat alone just because of how good it is. I think if you're going to get a putting mat to, pra to practice at home with, this is the mat to get. Boom, perfect. But as far as the beats per minute go, is like I said, on you know you wait for the beat, you take it back on one beat, and right on the next beat is when you want to hit the ball. So with slower, with with smaller putts, with shorter putts like that, you know it's gonna be, you know more of a smoother swing, like a little bit slow, smoother. But with the bigger putts, it's gonna be a little bit of a faster, faster tempo. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm putting it ways down there so it's gonna look like this let's see it's a little bit faster let's do an example with that from here so my goal here is just get it into the good zone anywhere in the good zone swing with the shoulders oh that was bad that was bad pretty good on tempo in the good zone right down the middle Perfect. So yeah, I think, um, so I'm probably just gonna do this the rest of the night. I'm gonna get my golf bag ready. Probably, I'm probably just gonna cut the video off right here. Um, Project 48, first video done. First week of Project 48 done. Um, if you made it this far, comment comment 80 beats per minute, just to let me know you got this far. Um, and if it, you know if you guys made it this far, definitely thank you for watching. Definitely, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching the entire video. It's gonna be a fun journey that I think you guys are gonna to wanna to stick around for. So um, I definitely would appreciate it if you guys are around. Um, comment, definitely comment, share this with your friends. But yeah, if you comment, I'll comment back and follow my Instagram, I'll put it right here at the Grind to Par. There, so definitely hit me up on there. Let me know you came from the video or if you're coming here from the Instagram, from Instagram, let me know. Um, but yeah, definitely thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, stay tuned and Project 48, baby, and I'm, I always end all my videos with saying, let's get 1% better every single day, baby. Let's go.